Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So in this one, we'll take a look at the main highlights from Cardano for the last week. Lots of different things happening with consensus happening over the weekend and the end of last week. There was a huge Cardano turnout. Sorry now I didn't organize to go to it when I seen how much actually happened for Cardano. Cardano kind of took over a lot of the event as well with everything that was going on. We'll cover the main highlights here and I'll put timestamps below. Share the video out if you think others can benefit. I do appreciate it, especially with less people watching right now. Give it a like, comment below, and let's jump into it. Okay, so I had planned to look at the overall market before getting into the Cardano updates, but I think I'll leave it out for now. We'll touch on Celsius briefly as that is the biggest event, but if people want me to start putting out more content or opinions on the overall market, let me know maybe once a week or once every two weeks. I could try and get a video out like that as well. Celsius, most people in crypto probably heard about this by now, that Celsius paused all withdrawal swaps and transfers between accounts which put a lot of fear in the overall crypto community. Are Celsius going to go bust? What's going to happen? Will the assets they do still control be sold off? Right now, we don't know what's going to happen. They still talk like they're going to be coming back and opening it up for people. But if they do open up, I would say get your assets off as quickly as possible. What this does really do is really shines a light on how how good we have it with Cardano staking. I suppose that we keep control of our own funds. When you stake your ADA, it always stays in your own wallet. So you are in control of it at all times. With Celsius, people use it to put funds on and earn interest. Also, they do loans where you can put up collateral in crypto and get your and get your loan out then, but you have to keep a certain amount of collateral. So there's risks there for people as well because at the minute they can't update the collateral by transferring assets they might already have on the platform but again i can get into that type of stuff if i do dedicated videos on that type of market also we see the fed is probably at this stage going to bring in a 0.75 percentage point rate raise which will put a lot more downward pressure on the market towards the end of the week if we do get a 0.75 people still hoping for 0.5 but from a lot of the leaks and stuff, it looks like 0.75 is more likely. But again, we can cover that type of stuff in other videos. So now on to Cardano. And I'd say if you're not following the input output Twitter, it's a good place to get updates. There was lots of people within the community tweeting out stuff of what was going on at Consensus. And there really was a massive Cardano crowd there. So if we go down through this here, now they did just post this before I started recording, so I haven't read it. I will get into this one after talking about the different flavors of Ouroboros, which is the consensus protocol for Cardano. So I might cover that one in the next video. We see they reshared this video, which came out last week. This was a really good one to watch if you are interested in how things actually work on Cardano. And we've heard John Woods talk a lot about input endorsers and how there will be more blocks or more frequent blocks but the actual block that decides what gets included and gives finality to transactions will still be every 20 seconds. So for me, the best part of this video here was at the very end, he drops kind of the bomb that says, we're gonna have more frequent blocks, but we're also going to do more and have faster finality that with other research they have, they know how to bring in faster finality. So long-term scalability for Cardano is looking very, very good. I would say check that out for yourself if you're interested in how overall it works. Rare Bloom actually is another event that's happening in October this year. I've had Peyton on the channel two or three weeks ago talking about it and he gave me the code, I think it was Paul10 that gives 10% off your tickets if you want to buy them using that code. I am hoping to get out to Denver for that event as well. So this one here was one of the big announcements this is the new Light Wallet Lace. It's not live yet, or I haven't found a live link. You can go to the website here. You can register to get the latest information. But this is the wallet that IOG Input Output are building themselves. They showcased some of this at the Cardano Summit last September. I think I shared screenshots at that stage. From what we've seen, there was a video as well here. Charles gave a presentation on it. I will leave a link to this one down below talking all about it, what it's going to have. It sounds like it's really going to open a lot of doors as well. This is where the DApp store is going to be, where you will have certified DApps and then uncertified. And this doesn't mean that 
This is going to be, yes, this is the D apps you should use. These are the ones you shouldn't. But what it means is any D apps building on Cardano can register and then they can show the proof of the verifications that they have, the audits that they have. So when everyone is coming in to use the wallet, then they get a trusted, it's not really a review, but it's a trusted proof from the project of what they have actually done on the security side. So it should make things a lot safer. Also, IOG or input output are bringing out a side chain and that one is mentioned here. So they're releasing an Ethereum virtual machine side chain alpha. Now this has been something that's been in the works for a long time. We already have Milk Meta, which is done by DC Spark and they have brought out a side it's a side chain at the minute, but will be a layer two. Now, from what I'm seeing with the IOG EVM, this one will probably remain a side chain. The details aren't fully out there yet, where Milk and Meta will go on to be a full L2 using the Cardano security aspects as well. I need to get someone on, maybe Sebastian or Nico again could come on and talk about the differences in this and how this type of stuff could work together. What this does is this will be integrated with Lace as well. So we hear in do i have this video here which i will share a link to down below is a good summary of the lace wallet as well so it talks about how they look to make web3 easy and how you can interact with ethereum through the evm machine and this would all be done through the lace wallet as well obviously when we get the releases of the wallet and of the evm sidechain i'll do all of the tutorial videos on that type of stuff as well so i just Actually, this part here will include it from Sebastian. People were asking, why do we need Milk Meta and an IOG EVM? So there are going to be some differences. So what Sebastian says here, if you missed it from the IOG sidechain announcement, it's not just the sidechain, but strives to be a system to build sidechains on. So for variations, you can look at Cosmos, Polkadot, Avalanche. And again, once I get more information on it, I will put it out and try and bring people on as well that have that deeper understanding of all of this as well. Okay, something else from Consensus then as well is Virtua, who were the ones who created the island for the Cardano Summit last September. There was these little characters you had to go around and find, you had to do tasks to get them, and then they were turned into NFTs earlier this year. So they have now come out and said they are building Cardano Island, which will be a metaverse or part of their metaverse and there will be land sales and stuff like that later. I haven't got a huge amount of information on this yet, but again, check out the links down below here for cardano.terravirtua.io. You can see they already actually have a lot of different elements of this built out. People who got the NFTs from the Cardano Summit last year will be able to pick up an automatic whitelist to be able to buy into the land if that's what you want to get into, into metaverses. But again, I'll leave the link to this one down below for anyone who wants to check it out. So people who were part of the Cardano Summit will recognize these images here and you can come in and claim them. It cost me, I think seven ADA to claim them and I got back one point something. So overall it cost me about 5.4 ADA in total to actually mint all of these, which isn't too bad. And once we get more information on the sale or whitelist or what exactly we can do within this, I'll let you guys know as well. And another update is with Ledger. Finally, we have ADA or Cardano support within the Ledger Live application. So if I bring up Ledger Live here, you can see that I have added one of my ledgers here. I've added Cardano into this one. You can see I have zero ADA in this wallet. This was just a test one. When you come into it now, you can see the send and receive tab for Cardano or for ADA, which is great to finally see. We don't have the stake tab just yet. Hopefully that will follow fairly soon. I haven't heard an update on that one just yet. But for now, when you go into Ledger Live with your Ledger hardware wallet, you can go in now and you can send and receive. And if you use your the portfolio part here for tracking your overall portfolio, at least now you can see your ADA in there as well. I haven't seen support for native assets yet, but this is definitely a really good step in the right direction. And again, you can have multiple Cardano wallets under the one ledger as well. So I'll cover that a bit more. I'm just waiting to see about staking, if that's going to come soon. And if it is, I'll do a full tutorial on it then as well. So next up, we have Ada Ape shared this out here about on-chain voting for any project or anything on Cardano. So this is done by Vote. Votera, vo I'm not going to get that name right, but you'll get the idea here. 
So what it is, is it's voting on the Cardano blockchain. And if I go into the actual website here, that's the mainnet. Not live on mainnet yet, but I think that's happening any day now. If we look at the testnet here, so if I come back to it here, there's three different options that you have here for voting on chain. And this is, you can have simple votes where I could, I could set up a vote now where I can have the vote on whatever I want and anyone holding ADA can come in and actually vote in that. So you go in, you connect up your wallet and then you process your vote there as well. With delegated votes, so this is for stake pools. So I could set one up for my stake pool where what content do you want to see next on the channel? Do you want X, Y, or Z or whatever it is? And then you can come in and you can actually vote on that. With policy IDs, this will be based on NFTs. So NFT collections can come in, set up a vote. So anyone holding one of their NFTs can actually come in and vote then. So if I go into the simple votes, just to show you here, if I go into view ballots actually, so that's if I wanted to go in and create a vote, but go into view ballots, and what you can see here is different people using test ones here. So let's look at some of the active ones. So these are the active votes right now. So Discord or Zoom, let's go in and vote on that. So generally, let's go with Discord. So Discord, yes. Click on submit. And again, these votes could be anything. NAMI, so NAMI comes up here to say that this is to process the transaction. So I need to sign this. It's going to be one transaction fee because I am voting and signing on chain. And do I know the password to this one? So transaction successful, congratulations. Your vote has been submitted and then you can go in and see the results. So at the minute, I don't know if that vote is going to be my vote or someone else's because it mightn't be just that quick on chain to pick it up, but a really good step in the right direction to bring on chain voting for Cardano and also projects and NFT collections within Cardano as well. So I'll cover that one a bit more at a later point as well when I actually get to try it out myself. So Dish covered this in the last video. I don't think this article was out when I done my last update, but this is an update from Input Output talking about Dish and how they're using Cardano as well. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, I'll link that one down below. In terms of wing riders, they've enabled a few more of their features as well when it comes to farming. So on their staking right now, so when you yield farm on wing riders, the ADA that's there is automatically staked for you. Up to now, it was automatically staked with the ADA Lite or they've now rebranded to NuFi. It was automatically staked with their pools, but now what you can do is you can go in and support any of the pools that you want. So if you are farming, which means that you're actually providing liquidity, when you commit to staking here, you can come in and you can choose the pool that you want the ADA to be vote or to be delegated to. So this is a great way to help support some of these stake pools out there, whether that's you want to support my own pool, I really do appreciate it. Or if there's another pool you want to support as well, you can see right now 19% of the ADA or the LP positions in this pool are actually voting. It says you need to have 25% of the LP tokens participating in the vote for it to pass. So this one needs a little bit more on the ADA WMT pool. And you can see at the minute, Army of Spies is the one that is winning. Definitely a worthy winner of this if he is the one that gets the, the winning vote here. That would mean that the ADA uh, that is part of the ADA WMT pool on wing riders would then be delegated to his stake pool which is a great help to different pools so if anyone wants to go in and do it then check that out under staking on wing riders i also get questions about the yield farming rewards you're earning when will you actually get them so they put out an article last week talking about that and on the first day of the tge so there was talk before that there would be a delay for people farming when they would get their wrt tokens but now on day one, you will get up to 2,000 WRT tokens. So that's the Wing Riders token. So if you've earned less than 2,000, you will get them all on day one. If you've earned more than 2,000, you will get 2,000 on day one. Two days later, you can get up to 2,000 more. And every two days after that, you can get up to 2,000 more tokens as well. So they say that for 95% of people, they will be getting under that 2,000 tokens. So they should get them on day one. Still no date for TGE. They do say here, they are confident, um, even in the case of major slips, the TGE should be earlier than 15th of July. 
and just on farming and everything like that what i'm talking about over on min swap now and on sunday swap as well what you start to see is there is double yield farms on these here so if you look at this one for yummy ada and n nmkr which is the nft maker token as well you can see there's a double farm here and the same on min swap you can see you earn your rewards in min and the nft maker token so that means that you get extra rewards for getting involved in these and for anyone not familiar this is basically where you put up liquidity you have to put up your ada and your nmkr token when you're farming it here then or on sunday swap you get paid back in both tokens so nice incentive there for people who are into yield farming obviously always check the tokens you're getting into current market things can get extremely volatile you could end up with a lot more of one token than the other one that you put in so make sure you weigh up the options on what you want to get involved in so hope this video has been of some use some of the updates that are going on there anything that i have missed let me know down below i'll cover it in a future video if you want to see me covering more of the wider market with everything that's going on right now as well let me know and i'll try and get them kind of videos out as well thanks for watching guys i will talk to you soon